Hey guys, thank you for watching. So I just want to jump on here and share my recent testimony on how God kept me, literally kept me alive. Um, I had a recent health scare and was in the hospital for about a week. So yeah, I just want to get straight to it. I have a very short attention span. So I'm assuming you guys have a very short attention span as well. So I really dislike when YouTubers have like a 20 minute introduction and only three minutes of their video is actual content. So I'm just gonna get straight to it. I'm gonna share my st uh, story on how I was in the hospital recently and then I'm gonna work my way backwards as to the events that led to that recent um, hospital stay. So, and I'm gonna try to make this video under 10 minutes. Like I said, I have a very short attention uh, span. So yeah, I'm just gonna get right to it. So I want to say October, yes, October of this year, I was in the hospital for about a week. I went to my doctor's, well, I went to a doctor's appointment and he told me like, you need to go to the emergency room immediately. Um, he did like a urine test and some blood tests and I was just in so much pain, you guys. I mean, so much pain. I literally could not get out of the bed. Um, my mom had to help bathe me. I wasn't able to move without just being in excruciating pain all throughout my body, especially in my back, um, my ankles, everything. So he sent me to the emergency room and once again, well, they admitted me. And once again, he told me while I was there, um, you have so much inflammation and infection in your body. Um, I'm shocked that you're functioning as well as you are or that you're even alive. And in that moment, honestly, I had so much peace while I was in the hospital. It literally was just God covering my mind. But in that moment, all I could say was just like, by the grace of God, it's all by the grace of God that I'm alive. For a medical doctor to look you in your eye and tell you that he's shocked that you're alive. I think for me, it didn't hit me until afterwards, like, dang. <laughs> like, I literally could not be here right now. So, and I'm getting teary eyed just thinking about it, but um, yeah, just in that moment when I was in the hospital, my instant response was God's grace. And he literally covered and protected my mind while I was in that hospital because I don't even think at the time I realized how serious that was. Um, but yeah, so that, that was that. I was in the hospital um, for about a week. They treated me with antibiotics and um, steroids, just trying to get the inflammation and infection put down um well to get the infection and inflammation to go down part of the infection for my body um for a lot of you who may not know i was diagnosed years ago with hydrogenitis superativa hs for short i am terrible at pronouncing it but um it just causes like infection throughout my body from different areas um that like ingrown hairs produce or whatever i'll put it in the uh what is it I'll link it down below so you can do your research and Google it yourself. <laughs> so yeah, so that was causing a lot of the infection, but I also was recently diagnosed with lupus and rheumatoid arthritis, but I had no idea that I had it. So let me go into the story of that because that's a whole nother situation. So I wanna say maybe start, well, I've been having pain for years pain all throughout my body. I would go to the emergency room. I would go to doctors. They will always tell me like, oh, it's just stress. You need to slow down because I work. I work a lot. I love what I do. So I did have to slow down with working. I'm actually not working right now. And that's a whole nother story. I'm literally just out here trusting God. But um, I have not, well, I had slowed down with working because every time I would go to the doctors or the emergency room, they're like, you know, you're just stressed. Like you need to slow down. So I went from working almost seven days a week to five days a week, to four days a week, to three days a week. And it's just like, man, like how many days a week can I work? Like I have to pay bills. Like I have to do what I have to do. So I will always just push myself. Um, and then I want to say starting in August of this year, it was getting kind of scary because I was really having a hard time getting out of bed. Um, like I would have to set my alarm almost two hours before like I actually wanted to get up because 
it took literally all of me to get out of bed and it would take me hours just to take a shower and just to get dressed because I was just so exhausted. I was in so much pain. I could barely walk. I'm literally <laughs> getting out of bed like, God, what is going on with my body? Like, what is going on? And it was very um, depressing because I would try to tell people how much pain Okay, we're not doing this. <laughs> okay, forgive me. I had to get myself together. But what I was saying was it was very depressing because I was just in so much pain and I was in a dark place and I would try to describe to people how much pain I was in, but like no one, I don't know if people were I don't know like people were not taking me seriously and they would just brush it off and just oh girl you're just getting old you just turned 30 welcome to the world you're just getting old and it's just like no y'all like something is seriously wrong like i am struggling to get out of bed and honestly the only person who um believe me was my mom because when i would go stay at her house she would see how much i would struggle literally just to get off the couch to go to, go to the restroom um and once again this was in um like august or whatever so like my mom knew but like i don't think anyone else really knew how much pain i was going through so one day it was just like i couldn't get out of bed i'm like i canceled all my appointments i'm like mom i need to go to the emergency room um and while I was at the emergency room, they ran tests, you know, I was having like really sharp pains in my back and I thought something was wrong with my kidneys. So they did all these tests, did a CT scan, x-rays, all this stuff, everything came back fine. And I'm just like, okay, like, I know I am not going crazy. Like I am in pain, like everything from my ankles to my back, to my neck, to my hands, to my toes, like I am in so much pain. And so the doctor at the emergency room was like, have you ever been tested for lupus? Because everything that you're saying sounds like um, it could be lupus. So I'm like, no, you guys don't do a test here. She's like, we don't provide that type of test here. You have to go to a specialist. Long story short, I contacted a friend. She got me into a doctor literally like, um, I want to say the next day. Like the next day. And like I was telling her what was going on. And she was just like, nish, like that's not normal that's not okay so i got into the doctor listen listen to this y'all so going to the doctor to see if i can get tested for lupus as soon as the doctor came into the room the first thing he said was i don't have to test you excuse me i have a um something in my eye I don't have to test you for lupus because it's right here in your charts, like right here in your mind charts that you were tested for lupus and rheumatoid arthritis back in 2020. And I was just like, what? <laughs> like, what? Forgive me, I had to get whatever was in my eye out my eye because it was bothering me. But so yeah, I was like, wait a minute, what? Like, wait, what? So, like I said, I had been going to doctors for years just trying to figure out what was going on with my body. Like, because I would get, like, flare-ups. It would come occasionally. I remember, actually, now that I'm looking back, hindsight, I remember I had my first flare-up um, in 2017. And I was having, like, severe chest pains. I thought I was having a heart attack, so I went to the emergency room. Once again, they told me I'm stressed. I had my next flare-up. And it would come on and off, like, small. But then, like, the next big flare-up was in 2020 and once again i went to the emergency room but my doctor had sent me to an oncologist to get blood work i remember that in 2020 and of course the pandemic everything was going on and i think for me too i don't know why they didn't call and give me the results i don't know um because i haven't been back to that oncologist so i don't know why i didn't go back i don't know if i was just fed up at the time like spending all this money i'm self-employed insurance no insurance like paying all this out of pocket I was just frustrated because I was not getting answers um but then I still was going to my family doctor though since 2020 so obviously she's seen in the my chart that I had lupus and rheumatoid arthritis but that conversation never came up with her either so that's a whole nother story so yeah he's telling me like um yeah you have lupus and rheumatoid arthritis and I'm just like bruh what <laughs> so I'm just like okay God like 
I trust you. I'm going to give this to you. I will allow you to use it in whatever way to help someone else. Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and honestly, I still don't know because I haven't been working. I believe that God had told me to stop doing lashes um, a long time ago. And this kind of was just like that final was just like you know what I'm done because at the same time too for me I thought a lot of my pain especially back pain was work related um but now that I know there was a more serious cause going on but I will say being in that position doing lashes all day was not helping my condition at all because I would come home stiff and then just in so much more pain um my body has been feeling a lot better um since I've stopped working but y'all I'm just out here trusting God <laughs> because yeah, it's a lot going on, but I'm just going to go ahead and decree and declare that God will supply all of my needs, that he will work literally miracles, signs, and wonders in my life. And when I look back at this video a year from now, I will be walking in God's best for me and I'm trusting his plan. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there and put it on this video so we all can be a testimony of what God has done in my life. So we just gonna go ahead and um, actually end that there. I'm trusting God in this new season of my life. I may not be able to work as much. Um, I've literally given up my career. Trying to walk in obedience to God and I don't understand. I don't understand but I'm choosing to trust him. Mm. Y'all forgive me because I hate when people cry on camera and here I am. This is what I get for judging people. <laughs> but um, yeah, so thank you for listening to my story. Um, obviously God kept me alive for a reason. So I'm just going to trust and believe that um, he has plans for me and that this is not the end. And um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching.